Buzz Trap going back to a brand new episode of Irish Rewind, episode number two. Today we're looking at Mrs. Brown's boys. How's it hanging? Uh, hopefully not like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> How's the hanging? Hopefully not like Jeffrey Epstein. Hope we're all doing well. Because <laughs> he, you know, uh, with a bed sheet. <laughs> What's the moral of that story? Don't go to prison for fiddling with underage girls. Anyway, it's okay. He owned the island. It was completely... Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't legal at all, was it? Oh, just because you own a private island doesn't mean you can do whatever the fuck you want. Oh, well, that's fucking... I'll scratch it off the list then. Fuck, ruin my plan. We'll just do it down in Kerry then. Yeah, no need for an island. Go on, load up the van with petrol. <laughs> uh, it's been a bit of a, a little break. Uh, I do apologize for taking a bit of time off. I'm focusing on my mental health. Uh, I don't end up like one of those boys in uh, the Japanese forests. Low gangsters. But yeah, let's get back into the content. Irish Rewind today. You guys seem to really enjoy the last video with Sminky Shorts. Go back and watch it if you haven't already. Try to get that to around a thousand views. I love Mr. Brown's boys. You'll see, like, when we look at the videos in a second, I've watched pretty much every single one of these videos already, like these clips. Uh, Mr. Brown's boys, I think, is back on the television soon, so this might be a bit relevant. Irish Rewind, episode number two. Let's get straight into it. If you guys are new to the channel, sure drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. A hundred likes to the video would be amazing. Uh, Cal the Best 11 is on the whiteboard. I wrote your name down twice, just in case you're Jewish and, you know, the Nazis come calling again. Probably not. I'm uh, just, just making sure. <laughs> Last thing I want is a bunch of boys coming up to my house with fucking swastikas. This is Mrs. Brown's Boys. If you guys don't know what Mrs. Brown's Boys is, you're going to love this video. If you've seen it already, it might be a little bit blast in the past. Either way, really, really funny. Mrs. Brown's Boys, I would put it up there with Father Ted. Only fools and horses. That sort of humor. I ranked this really highly in terms of like Irish shows, like Irish comedies in the last like 15 years. It's up there with the Young Offenders to me. Like they'd be like on par. We'll do the Young Offenders soon, by the way, Irish uh, Rewind. Let's get straight into it. I don't really know what else to say. That's nice. That's nice you know what i mean so it wasn't actually that nice uh bit sore actually <laughs> um like my humor is literally based off of this program so this is why i want to do it for the, the irish rewind my trevor's on his way here father jamie's picking him up at the airport i'm trying to make his favorite homemade apple pie and whipped cream and i can't find my freaking whisk <laughs> Into the cream as well. There's like a subtle like there's like a subtle play on that comedy wise. Like you're you're putting it into the cream. Like you're putting a dildo into the cream. Like you know what I mean? Cream pie, you know, it's just oh, In come the priests. It's good to be home, Mammy. Oh Trevor, it's so good to see you, love. Oh look at you, you've lost weight. Hello, father. Hello. <laughs> So you were saying it's cold in Boston. Like, he'd never be a pedophile. Like, of all the priests that wouldn't be, this guy's on top of the list. Like, this guy blesses his... This guy doesn't even look at his penis in the shower. I passed a dog the other day and he was stuck to a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of my childhood. Oh. The smell of apple pie just out of the oven. <laughs> and my mammy whipping the cream. <laughs> just wonderful. I used to stand beside my mammy and hope that when she'd finished whipping the cream, she'd let me lick the whisk. <laughs> the facial expressions like... Go on, Father. <laughs> Go on. The setup is so obvious. Like, it's so obvious where the joke is going to go, and that's why I find it so funny. Like... Like, it, most of the jokes I say, like, if I start going on about, oh, like, oh, white fans, like, you know exactly where the joke is going to go. You know where it's going to conclude, you know what I mean? So. But what is it for, then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Father, Father, I'm so sorry, I had no idea. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, Mrs. Brown. Oh, uh -huh. Rory, have you seen Mrs. Murphy's pussy? <laughs> There's a photograph of it down in the post office. <laughs> it's fucking huge! <laughs> Is that not the, like, I would say, so, like, I would say something like that. Like, it's just so, like, like, it's just, like, that joke is so easily identifiable as, like, oh, well, like, it, obviously, you know, it's just, it's just a wordplay. It's just a twist on words. He was good at twisting, to be fair. Rory, you know. I don't know what you're shoving into it, but it's more than kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. It's been, it's been missing for five days. <laughs> she said she let it out for a wee. And he couldn't get back in. Because oh. her flap was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> is that not the most perfectly like it's just I love comedy, man. Like I just fucking love comedy. It's just so perfectly executed as well. This run all around for Mrs. Brown is like a I wouldn't say it was a flop of a TV show, it just didn't do amazing. The biggest problem with this all around to Mrs. Brown show is it lost its Irishness. So basically Caitlyn Jenner is a transgender. Okay. So the whole skit is based around this. It's amazing. Actually Caitlyn. Caitlyn. It's just yes, Caitlyn. It's just Caitlyn. Yes. You like cup of tea? Sh sure. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like tea bagging? Uh, uh, tea bagging? No. Uh, I don't do that. I'm sorry. Do you like your tea bag in? Uh, out. Out <laughs> it is. Out. Do you take milk? Is that too hard a question, or did you not understand? This is so complicated. It is so complicated. Yeah. To sit down well, you know, over in the States, we just have like coffee, cream, and sugar, and that's oh. about it, you know? <laughs> so tell me, have you got a pussy? <laughs> Why? Do you want to know? Well, I, I know a lot of Americans are cat lovers, and I just thought maybe you... you, you perfect like that's just a perfect oh my god because americans when you're telling them to like comedy i don't think a lot of americans would actually like my videos because i just don't think they'd be able to follow the sense of humor you can fuck with americans so easily and that's what i love it it's amazing this did caitlin jenner wonders by the way i don't know if this is before or after she went down on a celebrity but this did her fucking wonders like the botox <laughs> and the inverted willy were you did you start by dressing up as a woman did you know anything <laughs> about that no no <laughs> 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 that wasn't scripted as well. That's all. Oh, that's just amazing. That is so witty and clever. I love that. I've had a couple of American people or Canadian people on the podcast before, and it's very easy to like slightly say something that they won't understand, and it just makes very funny, like look, like watching it back. Such an exciting time, childbirth. Well, I've been excited six times. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Actually, they did. I used to say "fuck off," <laughs> and now I say "that's nice." <laughs> That's nice. This is one of the, the funniest Mrs. Brown's Boys clips, in my a opinion. Lot of the Bible is made up. But this is, this is like, ah, oh, it's just so, like, this is just such, like, Jake humor. <laughs> Taking the piss out, like, someone's really, ah, oh, just come on. A lot of the Bible is made up. They had to, because otherwise it'd be only a pamphlet. Well, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Norman's Ark, that's made up. No, I, I believe his name was Noah. Well, I believe in Ireland, we call him fucking Norman. <laughs> <laughs> That's made up, love. No, ma'am. Yes, son. Think about it. Think about it. I have, ma'am. I... Son, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. That's that's right, And they call it a disaster. Yes, ma'am. In Ireland, we call that the feckin' summer. Are you looking up the feckin' answers? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what did he have on his boat? I'll give you a hint. He had green alligators. And Long ladies. And limba camas. And cheap, cheap bands. He's legit. Brother. So no. that's an ev evidence, evidence. <laughs> but Lordy just, just couldn't, couldn't find him at Uni Come on, what did he have on the boat? <laughs> Two of every animal. Two of every animal in the whole world. That's right. On a fucking boat. And the lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the London Palladium, love. On or off, take your fucking pick. <laughs> Rory, come to the light. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that beside me? It's me, Agnes. <laughs> Agnes, that's not my hand you're holding. <laughs> I want us all to close our eyes and concentrate on those who are no longer with us. I sense a presence in this house, somebody who refuses to pass over to the spirit world. That's you, Grandad. <laughs> Right, that's going to leave this episode of uh, Irish Rewind. That is uh, Mrs. Brown's Boys. We might revisit it in the future. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this series so far. I don't know. I'm not really like used to doing reaction videos. Obviously, we did it in the Goggle Box. We haven't been doing the Goggle Box recently. So, it's like, I'm always doing a new series called, you know, Irish Rewind, blah, blah, blah. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want me to do next. I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to do Father Ted. I didn't grow up in Father Ted. Like, my sister and my parents would have probably. But I didn't grow up in Father Ted. I didn't really watch it when it was on television. But I might do that next. Let me know though what you guys want me to react to. Someone said in the last video, like, busy bodies or something like that, like the Irish sex education stuff. I think that'd be quite funny as well. So let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, if you are enjoying the series, just let me know in the comments down below. It really would help me. Like, I don't know if I want to keep doing this series. I don't know if, like, if you guys are enjoying it. Like, I'm, again, I'm not really great at reactions. Like, I just laugh at shit. <laughs> That's Mr. Brown's Boys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you on the next one. It's long before. Ooh.